Hi, first graders. Let's talk about your Friday work today. First, I want to remember our R blends. B R br. F R fr frame P R pr present C R cr cry D R dr dragon and G R gr gray. So those will help you with your work today. Say the name of each picture and then write the word. Let's read these words. G ift gift ick lick. Color the picture has the, that has the same beginning sound as the word on the left. So, you're looking for the word that starts with this. And you're looking for the word that starts with this. We have a train, a crab, a dress, a truck, a dress, a prize. Say the name of each picture and then write the word. This is a hill, mix, pig, kick. Find the words and write them under the picture. Circle the two pictures that have the same beginning sound. So on this side, in each row, you're going to circle two pictures. We're looking for TR, tr, truck, trunk, sun. C R crab, cr, crab, clock, crown. I am only going to read one of these words for you because it has a sound we haven't learned. I want you to read the word and draw a picture that matches the word. I need to be able to tell what your pictures are, so draw very carefully so I can tell what you're thinking in your pictures. And this is the word I'm going to tell you about, brush, brush. Here you're going to do some writing. You're going to trace the words and then write the word that matches the picture to make a super sentence. He set a blank. What is that? It's a trap. She has a big grin. Look at the red crab. I have a brush. I see a little frog. The cup will drip. So very nicely trace these on the lines. I trace them on the lines, I mean that you're going to write right on top of the dots to practice your handwriting so that you get better at writing neatly and clearly. Like that. Today, we're going to write some more fall sentences. There is, we have owl, corn, and pumpkin. There is an owl in the corn. There is an owl by the pumpkin. There is a pumpkin by the owl. Owl sign wagon. There is an owl with a wagon. You can write something like that, then color the picture. Can you pull it? I want you to read this book at least two times. You can do more than two if you want to be awesome. 
Can you pull it? There is a shell in it. Can you pull it? Could you pull a wagon with a shell? There is a drill in it. Can you pull it? Could you pull a wagon that holds a drill? Yeah, I think so. There is a doll in it. Can you pull it? Could you pull a wagon holding a doll? Yeah, I think so. There is a well in it. Can, can you pull it? Mm, I'm not sure about that. I guess if I huff and puff, I can pull it. Whew, that would be heavy. So make sure you read this a few times. And also this week, this has been self-control week. We have been talking about stop, think, act for using self-control. So I gave you today a poem about self -control control. Read it with your family and then color the pictures. Self-control. We show our friends self-control in all the things we do. We use calm bodies, minds, and hands. We work on patience too. When we act with self-control, we stop, think, then act. We take a breath and think it through to get on the right track. So this poem has a good point. One of the things you can do when you feel yourself losing your self-control is do some of our breathing. Self-control is when you're the boss of your own self and you are making yourself do what you need to do and do the right things and make good choices. That's self-control. And I think in this class, we have some self-control rock stars. Yeah, you're awesome. Bye.